hello friends today is the occasion of ram navami and i am going to visit the festival it is located near dormitory maidan ram navami is the festival commemorating the birth of the lord rama and it befalls on the 9th day of the month of chaitra that is in the month of march april in hindu calendar the hindu belief states that rama as the seventh avatar of vishnu incarnated on the earth to establish righteousness and destroy the wicked and here i am going through he was born to king dasarath and queen kaushalya and is also known as surya vamsa or raghu vamsa it is known that shukla paksha navami and it coincides with Chaitra Durga Puja Ram Navami is one of the most important Hindu festival and is celebrated throughout India and among Indian diaspora in some regions it is celebrated for 9 days on the occasion of Ram Navami procession such generally taken out and here i am witnessing such a procession and it is the main road and there are lots of people everywhere people are holding yellow color flags on which it is written jai shri ram and there are lot of people and they are playing drums and it is quite very nice and very fantastic and everywhere there are processions in india and also throughout the indian diaspora a variety of rituals are observed on ram navami and here i am on the ground of the dormitory maidan and here it is also very nice and very beautiful and it is very hot and there are lots of people everywhere and here you can see there are big pandals and i am going to visit the idol of lord rama to pay homage to him and here i have gone and here this is the street and there are processions all along the street and they are taking out the processions and it feels very nice and very beautiful usually bhajan programs are organized in homes and temples in which either akhand ramayan part is performed or sundra kand is chanted and here you can see the chariot on which the idol of lord rama is taken and here i am going to visit the idol a popular event observed as a part of the celebration is rath yatra or shobha yatra and here i am entering the pandal and there are lots of people everywhere and the rath yatra is conducted with four persons enacting ram sita lakshman and hanuman in gaily decorated chariot and here you can see there are lots of people everywhere the most crowded celebration of the day takes place in ayodhya the birthplace of rama and here this is kontai and i am in kontai dormitory and there are also lots of people in ayodhya the devotees take dip in the sacred river sarayu since ram is one of the most sung deities in indian classical music and literature long musical programs are organized in some places and here we have arrived the deity and there is the idols of rama hanuman and sita and puja is taking place here puja is being conducted in the full swing and there are thousands of people and they are paying homage to the lord in the ram navami puja devotees also conduct this puja at their homes to pictures of ram sita lakshman and hanuman or their idols are placed on the dais and flowers are decorated and incense sticks are burnt and the puja is performed with full devotion there are a variety of items for puja like rice water flowers bell and a conch and other items and some items are used for prasad The puja begins with the youngest female member of the family by applying tikka to all male members and here yagya is being performed and the priests are performing the yagya yagya or yajana is performed in ceremonial devotion with a sacred fire in honor of the lord rama and holy fire is worshiped by chanting hymns or mantras in honor of the lord rama it is a form of worship of rite or ceremony or devotion with symbolic offering to agni or fire and which plays a vital role in hindu worship 
yagya or havan is a procedure of eradicating inner imperfections prevalent in our being it is the perfect amalgamation of thought and procedure and here yagya is being performed and there are lots of people and here you can see it is surrounded with people yagya is done to purify ourselves our body as well as surroundings and it is a step forward towards the lord in reality it is the only way to cleanse the body mind and to ignite the soul power the havan kund is beautifully decorated with flower turmeric and sacred thread and all the auspicious objects are meticulously placed around it the ingredients of havan are wooden sticks of 6 to 8 inches long of mango tree ghee curd honey flowers and fruits ganga jal and holy ganges water and sacred thread camphor turmeric rice roli and a mixture of herb and incense sticks and here the priests are performing the puja and it is very nice and the air is filled with incense and it is also very beautiful and they are paying homage to the lord and there are thousands of people who are watching after the fire is lit chanting mantras or hymns in praise of lord is done and a little bit of havan samagri is added to the fire completely in each offering for the welfare of all human beings and the universe yagya is performed to enrich enhance and purify mind body and soul and here we can see the idols of lord rama sita and hanuman are being worshiped lord rama is the seventh incarnation of lord vishnu who takes birth on the earth on his own will to save dharma by vanquishing adharma rama who is also known as maryada purushottam for being ideal righteousness and a perfect human who fought and killed ravana the king of asura Rama and Ravana represent the two poles of contrasting characters. Rama is generous, humble and dutiful while Ravana is avaricious, oppressive and arrogant. Lord Rama with his noble and divine choices teaches the world the goodness of choosing dharma. He is always gentle, gallant and free of malice. He taught righteousness to the humanity of by being an ideal son an ideal brother and an ideal husband and an ideal friend and an ideal king he ruled and protected his people so well that it is came to be known as ram rajya which means the rule of righteousness happiness and prosperity by making an honest attempt to follow the virtue of lord rama one can purify his heart and be a real worshiper true devotion helps a man to realize the pure self and merges himself to the supreme and here there are lots of people and they are also singing hymns in praise of the lord and the puja is being performed in the full swing on the occasion of ram navami bhajan programs are organized and here i am witnessing such an occasion it is totally decorated and there are lots of people who are listening to bhajan programs bhajan programs are organized both at homes as well as in temples and pandals during these programs bhajans extolling the virtues of lord rama lakshman and sita and hanuman are sung these programs are often accompanied by ramayan katha in which details of ramayana is presented by chanting the whole ramayana and here you can see that there are lots of people and here they are distributing prasad and it is very good and prasad is also very fantastic and a lot of people are taking prasad it is said that the repetition of the name of the lord ram or ram naam is sweetest fastest and easiest way to attain purity peace and wisdom understanding and joy and prosperity and ultimately liberation lord rama himself explained those who repeat his name once gets peace and purity in this materialistic world 
and it is equal to the repetition of 1000 names of God or repetition of mantra 1000 times. Jai Sri Ram. Thank you for watching my video. Bye bye.